Hello everyone, my name is Lorenzo Iamone. I am a senior lecturer in robotics at the Queen Mary University of London. And in this video, I will tell you how can we give the sense of touch to robots. As humans, we can feel touch all over our skin, but especially on our hands and fingertips, which are the most sensitive body parts. Therefore, our sense of touch is particularly useful to successfully manipulate objects and to understand their physical properties. We feel touch thanks to different receptors in our skin. For example, Merkel's discs detect the amount of force applied to the skin on a contact point and are therefore very important to regulate our grip strength when we manipulate objects. Hair follicles, on the other hand, detect any slight movement of our body hair and can therefore sense very light contacts. To provide the robots with a sense of touch, we have realized two families of tactile sensors taking inspiration from these receptors. A small magnet is immersed in a soft material and placed over a magnetic sensor that can measure the three-dimensional magnetic field generated by the magnet. When normal or shear forces are applied to the surface, the soft material is deformed, the magnet is displaced, and the magnetic field measured by the magnetic sensor changes, providing an indirect measure of the applied force. Because these sensors are so small, we can cover large and curved surfaces with a high density, like the fingers of this robot hand, which has more than 300 sensors in total. And because they are very sensitive, the robot can safely manipulate delicate objects, like the plastic cup you see in this video, applying just the right amount of force not to damage it. In addition, we can also estimate object properties, such as size, stiffness and weight. For the cilia sensor, the soft material is filled with magnetic microparticles, whose magnetic fields are oriented along the same direction. Below, a tunnel magnetoresistance sensor measures the slight variation of magnetic field that occurs when the cilia is bent. This sensor is even smaller than the previous one, and much more sensitive, as you can see in this video. Because of that, we can use it to finely characterize surfaces by tactile scanning and to collect information about their texture. For example, we use this to precisely measure the location and size of small apertures and grooves that we carved over a thin metallic sheet. In a different application, we were able to tell whether apples and strawberries were ripe or rotten with an accuracy of over 95%, just by gently touching them without provoking any damage or change to the fruit. Our research has been published and awarded in several international conferences and journals. Thank you for your attention and feel free to get in touch if you want to know more details.